it's soft and they just have to just sort of just uh, say the same words. They just have to soft have its um, non profit organization as the Jakarta police. They both are based on the US, but they have this uh, worldwide community. So the Carpentry is 18 years old now. Data Carpentry is uh, uh, the CISA project is only two years old. So I'm going to mostly cover what Software Carpentry did in terms of assessment in this eight years old. In the last two years, Data Carpentry was uh, very heavily involved in the process, so I'm going to mention. So I think that the first assessment that at least that was the the one that I discovered was made by uh, George Arata in 2012. And the idea was to discover what software companies get uh, providing in terms of the workshop, what the audience of the workshop was getting back uh, by attending. So he designed uh, an assessment for six months. Uh, so he went to six workshops, you know, uh, interviewed some people, and both in person and on, as an online survey and so on. Uh, the feedback that he got was that the people that attend the workshop, they are very grateful, they learn something, they more or less uh, have the time back in terms of doing uh, their, their work faster. Maybe that was one of the assumptions that something happened had. And some of the uh, questions about that was in the survey was like, uh, do you understand this command, and this Python command, this shell command, this R, this uh, SVN, this git command? So this was not the full survey. There was lots of questions I thought that, and I already mentioned like, what's your name, what's your background, and so on. Do you understand what the, uh, the people? But this was the one that went to highlight this. The first, the first way they asked was asking very technical questions to the people. Uh, and there was a report that you can find online, so you can, if you want to read all the questions and see, you can go there. Uh, but I want to go to what I'm going to call phase one of the assessment of soft carpentry. This is a period that I considered between 2012, that was right after this first assessment, and 2005. It was a period that uh, Software Carpentry was using Google Docs to provide the, the assessment. So we had three surveys. We had one previous uh, pre-workshop survey, one post-workshop survey, and one post-workshop survey, but for instructors. The first two were for attendees. Uh, on both the, the, the post, uh, surveys for, uh, for learners, we ask uh, email you address, uh, name, what's your background, and so on. And you use that questions both to understand the students, but also to match the previous and the post workshop survey. Uh, on some of the surveys, we had questions. It was self assessment, so he was asking, uh, Do you feel confident doing this task? Or, like, uh, can you uh, create a Git repository? Do you feel confident in that? Uh, do you feel confident in writing a small Python script to plot your data? Do you feel confident about reading your uh, data on R and a few other questions? Uh, and they would say like, yes, I feel confident. Uh, I feel confident, but I need to maybe look online. Uh, I know how I can Google, but I'm going to spend like 20 minutes trying to understand what was the, the, the answer that I'm going to, to get. No, I don't feel any confident. Uh, no, I actually need someone on my side teach me what I'm going to do. So that's this question, and there was the same questions uh, before for the pre-workshop uh, pre survey and the post-workshop survey, so it's trying to discover if people get uh, a better confident doing those tasks. We also had some post-overall uh, questions, so what do you think about the performance of the instructor that was on your workshop? He was a uh, uh, nice uh, guy ago, uh, he was uh, calm, he was confident, uh, the, the workshop was fast, was always slow, and this was just to measure. And for the instructor assessment, we had some questions like, what did you talk, like, did you cover this lesson? Did you use some essay material, not only the lesson that you provide? Uh, 
uh, what do you think that the audience uh, of your workshop it gets? Because as an instructor, you talk with people during the breaks, during lunch, and so on, or even after the workshop when you are just finished playing the room. So some people can say, "Oh, thank you very much. I really enjoy learning this Python package of this R library and so on." So they can feel some information. And in some some questions about uh, participating improvement, that's what we're saying. It's more or less the same questions that you have for the, the students, but for learners to feel. The fun part is that even you have like this three years date, we didn't provide any report, like it was a very mess data. <laughs> we have, because of some issues with Google, like you can select a small set of your spreadsheet and send to someone, we was copying and duplicating all the uh, forms for every workshop, so we had like um, 200 uh, spreadsheets with more or less the same columns and with different data, and we didn't have anyone to go over this data and so on. And there's also this sticker notes after workshop uh, feedback that we got. So normally workshops start like this, Hello, my name is Henry. I'm going to be one of your instructors on this workshop. We're going to see Python, R, and a few other things. So on your table, you're going to find two stickers like this. You have a red one or a pink one, and you can put on your laptop cover if you have any issue, if you have any problem, or the internet's not working, or you've got an error, or whatever. You just put your pink sticker note on your laptop, and we'll try to assist you as soon as you can. Uh, if not, I go to help you, one of our learners is going to show up and help you. Uh, and you have a uh, green sticker note, if it, it's everything okay, uh, now please put your sticker note on your laptop cover so you can start. Uh, if it, you don't have the uh, green sticker note now, we're going to wait a few more minutes. So this is how we start the workshops normally. And at the end of the workshop, you say, okay, thank you very much for your time. I hope that you have a very nice time on this workshop and you learn a lot. Uh, one last task that you have for you is that you pick both of the stickers now that you were using this. Two days, the pink one and the green one. On the pink one, we want you to write three bullet points for things that you think was uh, followed, didn't work well. So write three bad things on the pink one. On the green one, write three things that you think was very nice, very nice. So like, if it was too fast, you can put on the uh, pink one. If you, the piece was good enough, you can put on the green one. And uh, we're going to review this kind of feedback and it's going just for we know how we do performance. And we got uh, like 40 uh, of these feedbacks every workshop, but something that the uh, software they have, they're not collecting. Like every instructor they greet, and sometimes they share, but they do not uh, store in those information in uh, 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 repository. After that, uh, this was last year, uh, this is what they call phase two. Uh, a few of our instructors, they sit together to review all of this Google Forms survey, and this is the name of the people that was involved in this group. So the outcome of this uh, meeting was that they create a new assessment a new form, now using not uh, Google Docs, but they're not platform. Uh, they keep more or less the same questions, some of the questions are pre-wrote and so on. But uh, now we're not, uh, we have uh, the pre-workshop survey, so it continues to have like more or less the same questions. Uh, now uh, we have some difference on the, uh, how they use it uh, interact with the forms, but as you can see that, there is still like, uh, what you can, how confident you are on these tasks? Like, uh, can you do a follow-up in Python and so on? And people can select. Something that changed now is that uh, after phase two, because of the using the phase, you are actually make the same question, but like before and after. And something that's, I think, uh, really interesting to get feedback. If this is useful, because we more or less like double the number of questions that people are going to ask. It helps us a lot to match people that uh, the, uh, the answer from people before and after the workshop. But after the workshop, they have the double of the number of selections they need to do. 
So is this something for us to feel like that? And aside of that, during this phase two, we also have these discussion sessions. So almost every uh, two weeks, a few group of people, they are posting sessions online. So researchers can go and give feedback and share all the uh, green and pink sticker notes. This is something also that is, uh, it, it's very difficult to measure because it's plain text. We don't have the full plain text because it was, we were stopping someone was typing it and taking notes, so it's not the full session. And this is collected also in a very messy way. Uh, so I think that uh, Beth can correct me. I don't know if you check some of those notes. Uh, okay. So, um, so those notes are archived somewhere if someone is interested to look at that. Uh, I'm not going to cover too much about that, but uh, this is the uh, survey <coughs> that uh, run in 2000, uh, end of 2015 and beginning of 2016. Uh, with a completely different idea of the pre-post-workshop survey this month about what the researchers they are getting back from running soft copy workshops. I think we did a great work. And there is uh, two surveys, one for instructors that actually go to workshops and talk, and there was one for, they have the certification as instructors, but they don't, not, they don't have the time. I think was that what you mostly find on your, uh, you can correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, I didn't talk about that one. There was a second, that was another study, so yeah. Yeah, so this was for people that uh, they don't go to see, but the, uh, the result was that they were very interesting on this, and they contributed a lot more. And there is the third phase, that's the last one, I think we need to talk, is, is starting more or less like right now. So they come and they hire someone, uh, it's Kerry uh, Jordan, to, as a director of assessment. So we now have a full-time person to help design the assessment. Uh, as far as I know, Kerry went already on the data carpentry survey. Uh, he sent me uh, a copy of that last week, but because of all the other business, it was a very uh, business week for me and all the SSI team. Uh, I didn't have time to look at that, but we're going to, again, to look all over the pre and post workshop survey from uh, South Carpenter and, and try to discover if you can improve on that. So this is more or less what I was Okay, so this unless is some you can compare yeah. unless you can compare what people a specific person replied before and after. Yeah, so we ask like email name and mail from people. So normally you can let you match. Mm -hmm. What happens um, sometimes someone could not provide the date previously to pre workshop survey. And one of the reasons that you do the pre workshop survey that I, I forgot to mention. 
yeah, we provide, yeah, we send the data to the software so they can be more or less prepared. That's something that they forgot to say. So, like, they can say, oh, people, this class looks like a more advanced class. Like, people look like 80% of the students there saying they are very confident in doing this. So, like, I should be prepared. Yes, can be yeah, as, 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 as that already told us. Like, people were saying what we're expecting them to be. But we, something that you state you know, on the surface that we're not going to judge you by what your answer is. So the only reason that we are asking that is just to prepare ourselves better for the workshop because uh, the speed can be very different. If you, everyone say, oh, I'm very confident, that means that I can be more fast. If people say, oh, I never heard about this, so I need to be more slow. So. The, the data in this would Thank you. 